we're going to talk about the difference between branding and call to action. Okay, so branding, that is not your logo. I've, I've started to start every conversation off like that. Branding is not your logo. Your logo is a part of your brand, but it is not your brand in its entirety. Okay, I have a lot of contractors that have a terrible logo, but their brand is super cool. We've done some things um, as a company. So McWilliams and Son, we have a very traditional blue and red with three generations and we treat you like family, right? So we had to kick it up a notch because I wasn't willing to change our colors and go lime green and yellow and neon and, you know, have all these really cool, super unique things. That wasn't my vibe. That wasn't what I was trying to go for. We're in the Bible Belt of East Texas. And so tradition still carries a lot of value here. But what I did do is create Sailor Mac and he's our mascot and he's our fun side to our business. So when we need to be fun and we need to be quirky, that's how I'm building the brand. Sailor Mac sitting up uh, at the Little League Baseball opening day and high-fiving kids did probably not generate me one sales, one sales call yesterday, right? It didn't. No one, no one said, go high five him. And what's y'all's phone number at McWilliams and said, I need a new system, right? That, that isn't what happens, right? But that is a part of who we are as a company in the marketplace. People say, oh, I love Sailor Mac. I love Sailor Mac. They might love Sailor Mac for five years before they need a new system. But by God, when they got ready to need a new system, because they walked in the door at 5.30 p.m. and it was 97 degrees in their house and they have a young kid and they needed service, guess who they thought about? I want them to reflect back on that Sailor Mac high five, right? That's what I want to happen. And so we have to be intentional about how do we put our brand in the marketplace? 